Okay, so this is part two of how to use your NXT clicker. And in this case, we will use it for uh, taking uh, an exam. So this is a sample exam here. And you can see the questions are, you know, you know, aren't too challenging. So I get the idea of how to use your uh, clicker, what color is green, and there's a multiple choice, what color is blue, what color is orange, what color is red. I think you get the idea and you know you have these multiple choice answers one thing you'll notice is that your exam will have a specific uh, version number so you know I mean everyone here in class is sitting uh, you know close quartered so um, you're going to have your own uh, individualized exam okay so basically when the uh, uh, when the exam starts so um, let's say the polling starts um, your clicker again to turn it on just touch any key and it'll automatically turn on and you'll see the the uh, welcome screen and it says OK and then it says uh, and then it asks you for a test version right there so your test version here is uh, 899 so just type in uh, just use your keypad 8 we'll see uh, 8 uh, 8.99, and then press the center key, and then you'll see a, a smiley face. That means that uh, your uh, exam, your exam has been uh, accepted. Or your, yeah, your, and then it prompts you for your ID. Um, you know, so you could basically just uh, uh, like type in your last name. So my last name is Chusoy. Going to type that in, and this is a uh, you know, you can use this uh, back key to edit. S, whoops, U, E, I, okay, like so, and then just press the the center button there like this or so and then you'll see the smiley face okay so now you're ready to do your now, now you're ready to do your exam okay so it says uh, sample exam key version 899 uh, four questions so you just uh, click on OK just this button there alright and then uh, please wait okay and then and then you have your questions you know one thing that you can do is you could uh, you don't have to do these in any particular order. You can scroll through these, so you just like press the up button like this, and then you can just scroll to whatever question you want to do first. So let's say I want to do question number three first, since I think that's the easiest question there. And so question three is uh, what color is orange, and and B is the correct answer to that. So you just uh, you know uh, you know press B or well, actually, press the center button so that you, so it knows to begin uh, to um, and to input an answer and just click B like that, and then press the center button again, and then you'll see a, a smiley face. That means that answer is accepted. And again, you know you can um, press the up. You could basically do questions in any order that you want. So it's kind of like you know voting, whatever. And so uh, question one is what color is green? So the answer is A there. So just press the center button and then press A and then, pre and then press the center button again. So you see the smiley face. And then my next question is number two is blue. So I'm, just for fun, I'm going to select a wrong answer. So so that's that's A, that's, that's incorrect, but you know, I'm gonna choose that anyway. Uh, just for illustration purposes, and then the last question I have is, is B. What color is orange? So correct answer is B for orange. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then so um, and then you know you also have the ability to change your responses too. So whenever you want to change an answer, just go over to the answer that you want, and then just press the center button there, and then uh... oh wait a minute, I never answered that question yet. What, what color is red? So red is uh, E. So that's uh, so I've done that. Okay, but but let's say you want to change. Oh, 
yeah. it says it's complete. Send, you know, say I don't want to send it, I want to change an answer, so I'll just go back like that, and then you just go to, a, to an answer like that. Let's say you want to change the, I mean, I don't really want to change that answer, but but anyway, I'll, I don't know, let's, let's say I want to change it to B, you know, and then click, and then I said, well, well, maybe that that answer was was right the way it was before. Uh, um, what was it? Number four. Um, so I, I I don't like that answer. Whatever. So you could just go and change that. Change it back to E, since you know the color of red is red there. So I'm just going to change it to E. So just press this, and then press that, and then press the center button again, like so and then so it gets recorded just like that okay so um, so now you're ready for your answer remember we uh, intentionally included a wrong answer just for illustration purposes so it'll say send so you, you can say okay and then it'll ask you again are you sure you know and if you're not sure you can always go back like that you know and, but you know we're, we're you know I guess we're ready we're, we're ready to submit this okay and then so it's complete and then okay are you sure it will say yes okay and then it saves the exam and then it says test is saved so it's saved on the computer and then it'll say test received so it's received by you know uh, so the t exams are it's saved on your unit and then it gives you a, a message like percent correct 75 percent so remember we uh, intentionally had a, a question that was incorrect um, now, one thing that I, I want uh, to note here is um, when you uh, leave the classroom after you've done the exam, I will require you to sign a, a roll sheet. Okay, so, and then, um, and then, uh, you know, just so that you don't go around the corner and, uh, you know, answer, um, you know, just, you know, answer an exam when you're around the corner or something like that. So um, anyway, if you, um, that's just one thing uh, to know. All right, so, um, so that's it for using the clicker to take an exam.